Now we'll see the flow of data. Now arithmetic logic in this there. It is an instruction decoder, and we have control logic, which are uh, which are responsible for uh, various controlling of these units. Then we have the register array, and along with that memory pointers, and then see how this address bus is connected, and here data bus. Even if it is given separately, data bus and address bus, they are all the same because an address bus is a 16 bit. The same 16 bit within that the lower order bit, 8 bits are used for data bus. So we'll see first the operation, then I'll explain it how the same 16 bits are used for data bus as well as the address bus. Now the microprocessor places a 16 bit memory. Now it is going to read 4F is placed in the main memory at the memory location 2005. This 2005 is given in hexadecimal. So which in turn, 5 is 5 can be represented with 4 bits. That is 0, 1, 0, 1. And 0 can be represented with 4 bits, 0, 0, 0, 0. And here again, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. And so on. Now, uh, in order to read, whereas this 4F is an 8-bit data. Okay. In memory, in memory, we store 8-bit data, whereas the address bit is 16-bit. So in order to address that totally, we have the number of address bus, the wires in the address bus is 16 bit. So when I say address line, 16 address line, it is nothing but 16 wires. Okay. So now the uh, program counter will have the, as I said, uh, suppose uh, 2004 is uh, being decoded. So by the time the program counter is incremented and now it is pointing to 2005. So in the next execution, what we'll do, this data will be, it has to be, man, uh, has to be whether read or write. How it understand whether it is reading information from the memory or writing into this location by this signal called read signal. So when the read signal reaches, the data from the memory is taken and it is placed in the data bus. Now it is sent to the internal database of the CPU, which in turn will be sent to the instruction decoder. And whatever is said, which is nothing but see here, 4FH is, the meaning of this is move C comma A. That is the content of accumulator is moved to C register. That is the meaning. Now the instruction decoder will decode this. What is the meaning of this? And then it will exude whatever is said in that. So now the execution means move the content of the accumulator to C register. So all these things will be done with we call it as an instruction cycle. So an instruction cycle will consist of fetching of data. Here it fetches, fetches the data and keeping it on the data bus and placing it in the instruction decoder, decoding that and then executing. All these things comes consist of the instruction cycle, one instruction cycle. So here, coming to our address and data bus. Here, address bus is 16 address lines. So it consists of A, you can say, see here, 2, how you can represent 2005. Just now we have seen, see here, 2005. This is a memory address. So how you can represent them? One zero is got two zero 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 if I indicate again this is got zero and five zero one zero one this is the memory address right this this is lower order bit and this is higher order bit and this will be this uh, this will be placed in the um, this is lower order bit now we'll see the same address like each will go in one line, each data, data bit will be in a one line. Now here it starts from D0 and this up to D50. Okay, so here D7 is the eight bit and here it is D8. Now with this in mind, we will go. Now, so A8 to A15 is the higher order bit or most significant bit. 
and it is unidirectional. Unidirectional means data flow in one direction only. Whereas A zero to A seven. Here, see B is given in order to say that the same line is used for sending data as well as address, and so it is called and it is called bidirectional because the data flow from here to here as well as from here to here from the memory to microprocessor and from microprocessor to memory it goes that is why it is bidirectional whereas address is movement is only from cpu to memory because memory address is 16 bit so always the data uh, see for example if i want to write something okay data some data into that from so for example b register we have some data i want to write that data here in memory means you will be placing that address in which place i want to write into memory so that address will be placed in the address bus then the data will be once it is uh, made for writing the write signal has to be given because now we are going to write so once write signal is enabled now the data will be placed in the data bus and it will be written right so in the same lower order bit address bus consists of 16 address lines in that the same lower order bit once the writing signal is given now the data changes to data bus that is whatever is 4f will be placed on the data bus that is the lower order bit and now the data will be written now i'll show you the read signal see here if you say clock signals are given it is with the uniform distribution one low rising lower and rising edge this together consists of one timing signal then see here it is given address lines are given separately ad0 to ad7 a to a15 okay 16 address lines are there then we have read signal so rd bar means when the signal is lowering only the circuit works then only the there is the uh, the circuit works only during the negative signal that is lower signal zero now here initially we were the address is placed on the total address lines two zero and zero five this is lower order okay so two zero is higher order and zero five now that is placed in zero to seven and a to fifty so once the read signal goes low now it starts reading because by the time this will be stabilized then when the uh, data is placed on the data bus, so same A0 to A7, now whatever is placed, that will be interpreted as data, not as an address. So that will be taken and the read signal is lower till this two timing signal because the whole data has to be read. So during the third timing signal, it rises, which means the reading of the data is over and then it will be, the next it will be sent to the instruction decoder and so on so this is how the reading writing means we have our uh, w or signal will be there okay that is also a lower signal so during the lower signal the data uh, it take the address and then the data from the data register is placed and it will be written into the memory this is how it works it uh, that is uh, the control signals helps in reading and writing the control control signals mean it is not only read and write there are many more signals are there see like io slash m bar and ale all these things are not necessary for you now to so just know there are many signals which helps in doing an operation that is even for reading and writing from the memory itself we need so many signals and then performing those operations also need more signals